Hello, my name is Chris Martino. Today I want to show you one of my favorite tests to do on really any type of lab scope. Uh, for today we have this modus here that I really like to use. Um, we're going to current wrap a fuel pump. So really all you need is a lab scope. You're going to need some way to read the current. You're going to need what I have here is a fuse loop installed in place of the fuel pump fuse. And you get that location off of a diagram and you find which fuse number it is. The, fu the fuse is installed inside the fuse loop. You get this from AES Wave. They make really good stuff. Uh, makes this a lot easier to do. So let's get started. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to the scope setting. Lab scope. Scroll over to low amps 20. Select that. Wait for it to load. Um, down below here, we're on channel 1, which is what we got, low amps 20, that's the setting we selected, on the 20 amp range, um, with 20 milliseconds across the window, which is more than enough for me to read this fuel pump. We have no trigger selected, because we really don't need one, because that's not really what we're doing. So now we have to find a way to turn the fuel pump on. I have this scan tool set up, so we're going to activate this fuel pump with the scan tool. Let it run. We're going to pause it. We've got enough information that we need. Now, if you look at this, nothing seems to be really dropped out or gross or nasty. Nothing really missing. Looks really good across the screen. So what you want to get from this is a good RPM reading. Generally, you want to see about 6,000 or so RPM out of a healthy fuel pump. And so we're going to read that. Um, the best way to do that is most fuel pumps have about eight segments that you're going to read, and what you're seeing is one segment at a time here. Um, so what you'll have to do is turn the cursors on, and then you're going to select a starting point. We'll go here, and we're going to want to count out eight segments. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A little off over here, so we'll go on over here to at the top of that one. So there. Are about the same and what we have is 8.77 milliseconds so what we can do to get a good RPM is you take a calculator here and there are 60,000 milliseconds in a minute so 60,000 milliseconds divided by 8.77 8.77 equals 6800 rpm 6841 and that's how fast this fuel pump is spinning which isn't which is good so our test is done complete we know we have a healthy fuel pump uh, you can do this test on really any lab scope the, the setup is similar um, you could have a pico you could have you can even do even those with an old old vantage it's all the same um, some scopes make it easier pico actually tells you the rpm for you uh, this one you gotta do a little math but if you don't have a Pico and this is all you got, you can do this test easily. Um, any questions, please leave any comments. Thank you very much.